Hello everybody, Davey at North East Claims. Welcome to this week's What's on Dave's Desk. So this week I thought I'd do a few more world coins and see if I can muck some midges figures up. So, let's get started. First of all, <clears throat> put that there. And we'll zoom in a little bit. I know some people like to see plenty of detail. This one, if I've got everything right, is 10 Araspin from 2013 uh, Switzerland. It's Cooper Nickel. This side, we have the head of Libertas, the Roman goddess of liberty. The letter on the outside translates to Swiss Confederation. The reverse has the uh, the denomination sent in the centre of two uh, what are the oak branches. Uh, we have a mintage figure on this one of 28 million 20,000. That was a pretty easy one, wasn't it? Second coin. If we've got it right again. Is five zelotes from 1990 from Poland. Uh, this coin's aluminium. And on this side we have the white eagle. Which is the National Coat of Arms for Poland. The lettering on the outside reads the Polish People's Republic. On the reverse, we just have the denomination. Um, vintage figures for this one is 38,248,000. Third coin. Let me see. There's that one there, which is ten groschen or groschen from 1963 from Austria. Uh, this coin's aluminium, and there before you, you see the Austrian coat of arms. With the uh, yeah, Austrian coat of arms. On the reverse, I just have the value, the date, and that's it. Um, this one, we have a mintage figure of 38 million and 62,000. That's three dates. I've got three I've got right without mucking the. Uh, I've got to get that one right up. That one there, the bunny one. This one, one peso, or one dollar, I think. Uh, from Mexico, from 2005. A stainless steel outer and a bronze center. Uh, the middle is the emblem of Mexico which is a golden eagle apparently it's perched on a prickly pear I'm not easy to say eating a snake which I first read as eating a snack yeah. well, that's right for you shake your camera again the letter around the outside translates to United Mexican States the reverse there we are, states what it is. Um, and on the, is the mint mark and the date. Mint mark is, is there under my dirty fingernail. Oh, well, you know, you're clean the fingernail as well, see. Yeah, that's the uh, mint mark on there. We'll use the pretty stick now, mint mark. 
and you're not blooming nails. Our next coin, if I, I've got it right, is that one there. Ten Fennec from the Re Federal Republic of Germany uh, from 1983. It's brass clad steel. In the centre you see an oak seedling. Uh, yeah. Oak seedling. On the dirt there, look, 1983. On the reverse. Yeah, 10 Fennec. Um, covered by two on either side there. Get me stick in there. They're supposed to be is of rye. Uh, mint mark on that one. Yep. Uh, there we are. Top of the top, look between the two ears. Ah, oh, see it? Might be up there. See what we'll do, see if we can get you a bit closer on the mint mark. No, nope, I'm close as it's going to get. Uh, but the mint mark is a J mint mark. Apparently there's five different mint marks for this coin. Five different mints. Now, uh, the J mint mark, there is 34,710,000. But in total, mintage uh, around the country was 130 million. The paper. Next coin, if I've got it right again, is there. This one is from Yugoslavia. Two dinar from 1980. Uh, Cooper nickel. And uh, in the middle is the state emblem of Yugoslavia. Around the outside, it actually states, I think, what was it? Yugoslavian state or something. I didn't write that down. Silly boy. This side, denomination. Uh, the six stars and a wraith. Mm. It has a, a reeded edge. All the others are being plain, I think. Reeded edge. And this one has a mintage of 36 million. Uh, 88,000. Next to the agenda, if he's got it right again, because I've knocked him over, you see. Five cents, oh, sorry, five francs from Belgium. Dated 1986. On this side is a stylized portrait. On the reverse, which is upside down again. Now we have the date, five francs, Belgium, on this side of the coin. Uh, one side has a mint mark, which is probably that one, and the other side is, um, what do you call it again? Privy mark. So that's five cents from Belgium. Our next coin... Might have to no, just get that in shot. There we go. At five hundred lira from Italy, from nineteen eighty-five. It has a bronze centre and a stainless steel alloy outer ring. The female head symbolises Italian Republic. The lettering on the outside translates to Italian Republic. The reverse. And we have the reverse. Here's a view of uh, one of the plazas in Rome. Uh, and it's denomination in Lira. L in Lira. In Lira. Now, ow. Along the top here, which is unusual, but uh, all the dots, that is the denomination in Braille, which I thought was a very clever idea. Braille on a coin. Our next coin is 5 or 
from Denmark from 1966. The crowned monogram of Frederick the Ninth. And the date either side of the crown. And no reverse. Uh, Denmark, 5 or. Um, yep, the value with a couple of wheats, a couple of ears of wheat. Wheats of ear. Nearly got it wrong, didn't I? A couple of ears of wheat. And the country name, and at the bottom, that's uh, the mint mark at the bottom. Don't know why they put a mint mark on, because they've only got one mint. Next, we'll get the right way up. Yep, we'll get it the right way up. There we go. This one was at five dinar from Yugoslavia. Again, uh, Yugoslavian coat of arms there. Translates to federal, was it Federal People's Republic of Yugoslavia? This comes from 1953 and it's aluminium. Reverse again. This has the denomination, the date, and I'm not going to count them because I've got it written down. Uh, yep, so many stars. I didn't write like the stars down. You can count. Was that one, two, three, four, five, about nine? Eight, eight, nine. Mintage on this one. Can't find. Can't find any mintage on this coin. And to finish it off this week, we have our usual token. I'm shrink that down a little bit. Something's from, it's just a souvenir token made of brass. It's actually called the Immigrants Looking Across the New York Skyline. Uh, there you go. And on the other side, we have Liberty. So I just thought I'd throw that in at the end. So I like a couple of tokens in if I've got them. So that is it for this week's What's on Dave's Desk. Would appreciate it if you leave a little like, comment. If you what, if you would, I would appreciate if you subscribe. With that being said, take care, everybody. Stay safe, and we will see you next time. Bye bye now.